In this video I'll show you a test with the card reader from Kingston Mobile Lite Plus SD card reader UHS-2 USB 3.2 with the SanDisk Extreme Pro 200 megabits per second and let's see what speed you can get with this cheap USB SanDisk card reader is too expensive the to get the 200 megabits per second from the sandisk extreme pro cards you would have to use the professional sd card reader from sandisk which is pretty expensive this is much cheaper in comparison and let's see how the speed is if it gets close to 200 read speed then it's not that bad it's pretty compact any SD card I made a mistake here I'm not sure if you realized it yet or not you might have the same kind of problem it's not really a problem but I connected it nothing happens remove it disconnect it put it back in I see a drive there but I can't access it it looks like an empty drive panic sets in <laughs> started to panic a little bit until I realized I didn't press it all the way <laughs> okay fully inserted oh uh, yeah no light on it yeah uh, that was really nice to see that it was just a small small problem like this nice. the card reader doesn't have an nice. indicator light right speed. this is right speed that is the right speed copy from the computer on the card using this reader not bad at all and I will do a few more tests I will check all the speeds read speed and write speed and I'm using the usual program I use for this Using the Crystal Disk Mark version 8, write speed is 139 mega per second and the read speed 184, 85, around there. For me, this is great because with the old card reader, the Transcend card reader, I was only getting 7, 90, 95 megabits per second, no matter what. So it's basically double speed just like that with a cheap card reader so if you have X sandisk extreme pro and you don't want to spend too much on a card reader get this the kingston one thanks for watching